Hello everyone. Welcome to Analog IAS. Today we are going to discuss about climate and clean air coalition. This coalition is a voluntary partnership of governments, intergovernmental organizations, business and scientific institutions and also civil society organizations. This coalition is committed to protecting the climate and improving air quality by reducing short-lived climate pollutants. Its vision is an atmosphere that enables people and planet to thrive and a stabilized climate with warming limited to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Its operations are supported by a secretariat that sits within UN environment in Paris. The coalition uses four principal strategies. They are to catalyze ambitious action, mobilizing robust support, leveraging finance at scale and enhancing science and knowledge. By doing this, it will produce the two ingredients needed for action. They are political will and capacity to deliver. Now let us see about short-lived climate pollutants. These are powerful climate forces that remain in the atmosphere for a much shorter period of time than carbon dioxide. Yet their potential to warm the atmosphere can be many times greater. They have harmful effects for people, ecosystems and agriculture productivity. Some of the short-lived chemical climate pollutants are black carbon, methane, tropospheric ozone, hydrofluorocarbons. Now let us see about the funding. These are financed by a multi-donor trust fund administered through UN Environment. While governments form the core of coalition's funding, the contributions from private sector and global community are equally encouraged. Let us see a previous year question based on this. Consider the following statements. 1. Climate and clean air coalition to reduce short-lived climate pollutants is a unique initiative of G20 group of countries. This statement is false because reducing short-lived climate pollutants is true but it is not an initiative of G20. It is an initiative of UN Environment Program. Statement number 2. The CCAC focuses on methane, black carbon and hydrofluorocarbons. This statement is true. So the answer is 2 only. Thank you.